city basement believed to be a former Second World War bunker has been transformed into a nine-hole crazy golf course. The indoor centre opens at the foot of the Gherkin tomorrow, ahead of which co-founder Matt Gregg-Smith is here to reveal what's in store. Matt, very good to have you with us. What do Londoners have to look forward to when you open your doors tomorrow? Well, hopefully quite a brand new, unique experience. They're going to be able to play crazy golf uh, inside, so uh, whatever the weather, um, we're transporting them to a English country golf club. So we've got a two-storey clubhouse, uh, which is built in the centre of the venue. And then we've got two nine-hole courses that curve around uh, the clubhouse. We've got a street food area serving some of London's best street food and then five bars to keep people well lubricated as they play. This all sounds very familiar. You had something similar in Shoreditch, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. We did a pop-up um, almost 18 months ago. We'd had this idea to do crazy golf and we just wanted to test it out, see if there was uh, a market for it. And uh, when we were planning the pop-up, it was all our plans were, what if no one knows about us? Um, what happens if no one comes? But in the event, it kind of struck a chord with people and people wanted to play crazy golf, have some drinks and have a burger while they do it. The pop-up kind of went crazy and we said, right, we need to start work on a permanent site straight away. Talking of the site, believed to be a Second World War bunker, how much do you know about what was there before? We don't know too much. Um, there's lots of rumours um, about the fact that, I mean, certainly when you look at the space, it could easily have been a World War II bunker. Um, it was a massive space, um, 16,000 square foot basement with about six metre high ceilings. So, yeah, you can see that there's probably been lots of uses for it over the years. Uh, most recently, it was archive space for some offices, so it's never been traded. But yeah, we've converted it into this sort of quite theatrical, um, immersive environment. So uh, yeah, there's nothing quite like it anywhere else in the city. The first permanent crazy golf course indoors in the capital. Mm -hmm. It does seem as though it's a bit of a craze at the minute that everywhere you go, there are kind of bar-like crazy golf courses. Do you think it will stand the test of time? Uh, lots of people have asked me that question. I think. When people are going out, they're looking for something a bit more to do. They don't just want to eat and drink, they want to do, do something. And so we've had bowling and we've had table tennis, and they're still going really strong. Crazy golf, I think, was just a bit more of a stretch because it takes a bit more to create that environment and to build it. But crazy golf, it's quite a classic activity. I don't think it's particularly a craze. You know, people remember playing it as kids on holiday. They've got this amazing nostalgia for it. So I think as long as we give people a really good time when they come down, I don't see any reason why they won't be playing for a long time into the future.